Morning. How much are the how much are the games, please? Two pounds. Two pounds, yeah. Two pound again. Oh. Morning, morning, how you doing? Morning, mate, you alright? Yeah, you're already driving straight in there, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Look at those ones. And then I need all of the famous fives together, and then all of these ones, and all of these ones. Oh, look, there's a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You want to do a pound a game? Um, a pound fifty. Okay, no worries. Oh, take them, please. Thank you. Morning. How much are the games, please? Yeah. So then, thank you. Do you have any other video games, or is it? Uh, Morning. Morning. How much are the games, please? Um, I'm just checking to see what is. Oh, they've got. Oh, sorry, they've got prices on, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, they're tenner, then games are a fiver, and that's a pound. Do you have any other video games coming out today at all? No worries. And how much is the LV Sir box set? I don't even know what I've got with me. No worries. And how much is the Elvis box set? The Elvis box, three quid. Three quid. Would you take two quid for it? Two fifty. Uh, yeah. But I've only just arrived. Yeah, no, fair enough. Uh, I think I've got the 50p as well. Morning. How much is that one? Ten. Go on, mate, would you take seven for that? Eight. Uh, seven. <laughs> <laughs> you making the video? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not. It's not live, but yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Right. You got change of a ten? Yep. Cheers. Ten seconds later. How much are these? A ten and a five. So ten for these, did you say? Only. Eight for them? <coughs> I give you this gun already, so this is Okay, yeah. okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Pete, doing well? You sold? Calculate any good chill? Nah, the old that one. I've got some Casio's in the doors, I just haven't got them. No. Did you want that for three quid? You can take it. You sure? Yeah. yeah. Nice one. Otherwise, Morning, mate. How much is that one? Two quid. Two quid, yeah? Yeah, mate. Right. 
Tag a punt on it, hopefully it works. <laughs> we are back, YouTube. For anyone who's returning, thank you. And for everyone who's new, welcome. I'm Mitch, and this is Retro Rummage. I'm on the gaming channels buying games, DVDs, Blu-rays, any electrical items I get my hands on at car boot sales, Facebook Marketplace, or charity shops for a cheap price. So I'm getting traded into CX at a high price, so I can build my gaming collection. So yes, back with a, a semi-decent Saturday car boot sale pickup video. Um, this will probably be the second to last Saturday car boot of this year, I think. There, I think they've got three more planned, but I've got stuff planned on some of those Saturdays, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to uh, make it to them. Definitely gonna to get to at least one. Um, but yeah, as you can see by the pickups, it is getting very quiet. Um, got a couple of really good ones. And I can, unfortunately, a, a few fails in here as well today. Um, but that is like sign of the times. I do, when, when the pickings are slim, should we say, I do tend to take more risks or, you know, pay up on a little, on stuff. And um, unfortunately it doesn't always, uh, it doesn't always work out, but there is one pickup that basically saved the day. Um, so yes, I think these were the first three games that I got. Uh, I've got the Crew 2, um, all of these on the Xbox One, uh, Marvel Super Heroes 2, and then Forza uh, Motorsport 6. I think they trade in for £4 each, and I think I paid £4.50, so I was 50p, of shy, uh, 50p shy of tripping my money on those. So, um, you know, for the first pickup of the day, I, I wasn't too fussed um, about, you know, that 50p. And then I got these two. One of them is a fail, but obviously the other one makes it. I think I paid a pound each for these. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, that's still trading in for a tenner. Um, but then, yeah, this one, Facebreaker, I'm sure, I, unless it's dropped, but... <sighs> I've, I've seen this game before, and I'm sure it was like a three or four pound trading, but maybe not. But I think I think they give you ten or fifty p for it now. So obviously I paid a pound for it, but so but still two pound into ten pound there. Um, you know, it, it's not a complete foul. It's just a foul. I, I should have just got that and left that. But um, yeah, not bad for the second pick up. And then I think I got this from um, a lady, and I see her at the car boot quite a lot. Um, and she's always got games and she always says that she's selling them for either a grandson or a son, I can't remember which one. Um, so yes, yeah, it was good to see, like you very rarely see PS Vita games. Um, she had a few of them, some Xbox games, but she did have prices on them. She said, yeah, my grandson's uh, priced them up, so uh, I can't budge on the prices. They are what they are. So um, good prices for if you wanted to buy them for your own collection, but I, I don't collect for the Vita or for the Xbox 360. But uh, I did manage to snipe this. It's the uh, Elvis, what is that? Recollections. Um, if I'm pronouncing, yeah, I think that is Recollections. Um, Paid £2.50 for that, and it trades in for £7. So, um, again, I'm like a pound or, or £1.50 shy of tripping my money. But, you know, when the sl uh, pickings are slim, I don't mind, you know, not, not tripping my money. As, as long as I'm over doubling my money, then I'm normally happy, especially this time of year. And then I can't remember what order I got these in. Uh, this is uh, another fail, unfortunately. So, it's a cubic digital... Um, mp3 player now when i plug it into the computer it comes up um and you know you're able to put music on it and stuff like that but when i've turned it on and try and power it on without being connected to that it doesn't work so i'm assuming uh that the battery inside is dead um would have traded in for about 11 pound that and i paid two pound for it um so yeah unfortunately that is a fail i got this from a subscriber now i originally i went up to um, well, I think, he, if anything, he called me over and he said he's got a brand new PlayStation 2 controller for sale. Um, I said, how much does he want for it? I think he said a fiver to start with. Um, and I've got tons and tons of PlayStation 2 uh, controllers, so I, I, I don't need it. And I said, listen, mate, it's worth a fiver all day. You'll get that for it. Um, walked off, uh, you know, done my lap sort of thing. And as I was going past towards uh, towards the end, he said, do you still want that for controller for three quid? Because it was still there. So I said, yeah, go on then. Um, they're actually trading in for a little bit more now. I think they've gone up to £13. I'm sure they were trading in for um, a tenner. But it, I mean, it's it's brand new in that, you know, it's, it's inside that. I have opened it up. It's not, I think what this probably would have been, um, 
is that's brand new out of like a box that would have had the PlayStation 2, uh, two uh, sorry, the PlayStation 2 in it with this controller. Because I've opened it up and it is literally mint condition, but I just don't need them. I've got tons and tons of, of PlayStation 2 controllers. So, um, yeah, ma maybe I'll look to sell it on eBay or something and see if it's worthwhile. But, you know, really for f 13 pound voucher, I'm, I'm happy to get that anyway. And then <laughs> one good pickup, oh, sorry, one very good pickup. And then this was like a semi-fail as well. Um, so originally I saw this and it was uh, the ring uh, doorbell chime and when i checked on the app quickly the first one that come up was trading for like 22 pound or something like that and i didn't look properly i just thought there was only one type of ring chime um but unfortunately this is the second generation one. i paid seven pound for that <laughs> and the a grade trades in for for eight pound um so yeah basically that's a fail in the sense that i'm just i'm sp spending my money in cex rather than actually you know tripling or doubling my money but the mental gymnastics that I'm playing with myself uh, is that I bought these from the exact same guy just after. Um, and that is, uh, this is the wrong way around. I've got the MetaQuest. Um, I think they're the Pro Touch left and right controller. Now I paid £10 for both of those. That's trading for 35 and that, uh, sorry, 34 and that's trading for 34 So £10 there into... Uh, 68 pound voucher but if i do some mental gymnastics and put that with it that's uh, 17 pound into uh i think yeah 74 or no sorry 76 pound voucher so <laughs> more more than tripling my money on the uh initial um yeah 17 pound which uh, I'm, I'm happy with so yeah all in all not the best of days but you know it just goes to show that when you you know things are looking like you're not going to get too much at the car boot what i tend to do is i slow down and i have a proper look on each of the stalls and see what's for sale and make sure that you know i know what i'm looking for and what's worth you know maybe that's worth trading into cx and and taking the time and searching it up there because these two here they were left I mean, this was near the end um, and one of like the first aisles. So, you know, loads and loads of people have gone past them and left them there. So, um, you know, if I didn't grab them, it probably wouldn't have been the best of days. But but that one purchase there has made up for everything. So definitely, you know, know your stuff, take your time, make sure you're checking everything. And, you know, if you feel maybe a little bit embarrassed about searching things up in front of people, you know, walk off, search it up and go back. Um, Cause you know, you could be missing out on something like that. But yeah, uh, what did I think I spent about like 20, 28, 29 pounds, something like that. And I should be getting obviously with those, maybe like a hundred pound voucher. So, you know, just over tripling my money in total, even with the fails. So it was a successful day. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with what I got. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. As always, let me know in the comments if there was anything that I missed. But take care, and I'll see you all in the next one.